Vehicle tracking is a really robust program that works with Civil 3D. You can create roundabouts with ease in vehicle tracking and have them work with your existing profiles and surfaces. In this model are several design roads that contain finished ground profiles that blend with each other. Your goal is to create a mini roundabout at this junction here. As you can see, this design already contains a finished surface and corridor. The corridor has been shortened to make room for the mini roundabout. As with any corridor, you do not want overlapping regions, so you need to make sure to give the design some room to breathe. Over here, you can see the assemblies that were used to create this corridor. The main drag is a 32 foot wide road and the cul-de-sac is a 28 foot wide road, which means that the 32 foot road has a lane width of 14 feet and the 28 foot road has a lane width of 12 feet. This is important to remember when you edit your roundabout. When you create the roundabout, vehicle tracking will make its own sub-assemblies and place them just above the ones you see here. These assemblies will contain only the lanes of the roundabout, which means no curb and gutter, no sidewalk or anything else. After the roundabout is made, you'll need to edit the roundabout to adjust the lane width and not the sub-assembly lanes because the roundabout is created from the edge of the lane alignment on each side of the road. For this exercise, you'll simply create the roundabout. Go back to the intersection you reviewed earlier, Highland Street and Razor Ranch Circle. To start, you need to set the standard you want to use. That way you do not place a huge roundabout in a small intersection. On the ribbon, Vehicle Tracking tab, Junctions panel, select Junction Standard Explorer. The Junction Standard Explorer dialog appears. Select U.S. Junction Design Standards, U.S. Federal Highway Administration, Roundabouts and Informational Guide 2010, FWHW 2010, Mini Roundabout, and then click Proceed. Next, in the new junction dialog, you need to name this junction. Keep in mind that what is set as the name here is what will be used when it generates the corridor for this roundabout. Name this junction Highland and Razor Ranch. Calculate elevations should be selected already and you can change the draw style for the roundabout from the drop down here. Make sure the surfaces below match. Existing surface should be set to EG and final surface should be set to core FG. Also make sure that Project Plan onto Final Surface is selected. Finally, click OK. Back in the model, the roundabout circle appears and is ready to be placed at the intersection. Select the intersection here using OSNAPS to get the exact intersection location. This looks to be a mini roundabout, just what you needed. After you select the intersection, you're asked to define the new access road centerline, so pick this main road centerline for Highland Street here. The new leg dialog appears. Leave the name alone and make sure the FG profile is selected in the Take Elevations From dropdown. Then click OK. Back in the model, the new leg appears in white dashed lines and the command line asks for another road, so select the Razor Ranch center line. Again, the new leg dialog, only check the profile that is being used. It should be the one with FG in the name. Then click OK. Another set of white dashed lines appear in the model, showing you where this new leg will go. Finally, select the Highland Street final leg in the model. One last time, verify that the FG profile is being used in the new leg dialog, and click OK. Now that all the legs have been defined, as well as the intersection of the roundabout, press Enter. The mini roundabout is created, and in the tool space of Civil 3D, under the corridors collection, you can now see that a new corridor has appeared with the name Highland and Razor Ranch. There are also dynamic dialog boxes located at each curb return of the roundabout in the model, explaining the details of each leg of the roundabout. As you edit the roundabout, these information boxes will change to reflect your edits. From here, you can connect up the subdivision corridor to the end legs of the roundabout corridor. Vehicle tracking does not give you the option to place a roundabout in an existing corridor. Instead, it creates a new corridor for every roundabout. After you create a roundabout, you can go into the roundabout corridor and generate a surface. Finally, you can blend all the surfaces together into one overall combination surface by pasting them together. Now, after you place a roundabout in your model, if you need to line up the lane widths, then you need to edit the roundabout or you can change the roundabout design standard you're using, if this one is not to your liking for your design. 
As for the assemblies, you can find the assemblies used for the roundabout just above the assemblies used for the subdivision corridor. These are simple lane assemblies as mentioned earlier. As you can see, vehicle tracking gives you a simple three-step process for creating a roundabout in Civil 3D.